Hey Lim Listers, in a previous video, we showed you how you can get a well-targeted list of leads using a simple LinkedIn search. Now, thanks to the Lemless Chrome extension, you can get all the information you need to import your leads directly to Lemless and get all the information to send multi-channel campaigns. This includes getting their verified email addresses. So I'm going to show you in this video what you'll get from the Chrome extension, how to set up your campaign to import the leads, how the extension works, how it looks in Lemless, what your LinkedIn scan limits are, and what this means for your multi-channel campaigns. So let's jump right into it. So LinkedIn can do so much for us now. We can import leads directly into Lemless and we can find all the information that we need to send our campaigns, such as the company name, the company domain, their contact info, and of course their name also. This information is extremely important, especially the company domain, because this is what will allow you to verify the email addresses. Now to verify email addresses, you need to have your drop contact connected to Lemlist. And this will help you to make sure that you don't have to constantly be importing and exporting things. This will all be done now directly in Lemlist, no need to leave the app. So to do that, you can go into your settings and you'll go to integrations and navigate down to drop contact. You want to make sure that you have all this information completed, including the language, as this will affect the information that you're importing, such as if I'm importing in English, it will say Mrs., but if I'm importing in French, it will say Madame. So also be sure that you have all these scanners connected when you are creating your campaigns. So to do that, you'll just go here and let's say I'm creating a new campaign. And when I go to my add my leads, I will select my scanners that I want to use. In this case, LinkedIn and Drop Contact. Also, you can do this if you have an existing campaign. You just go in and you can go to the Options tab and you can do scan your leads, LinkedIn and Drop Contact. Also, be sure that you have your campaign already created in your sequence set up before you start using the extension because this will make sure that you're getting all the information that you need to send your campaigns. So now I'll show you how you can use the extension. So we'll go right here into our LinkedIn and you can see that I've already started a search. So I have my search results here. I've narrowed it down a bit and now I want to import these leads to my Lemlist campaign. So I'll go up here to my extensions and I will click Lemlist. And you can see here that I can select the campaign that I would like to import the leads to and I have all my leads here. Note that you can do a large group of leads like I am doing here, or if you want, you can do individuals. Let's say you come across someone and you want to add them to your campaign, then you'll just go on your profile and activate your extension from there. So after I go ahead and find these leads and I select the campaign I'd like to import them to, I will select import, and this will take me directly into the Lend list. This will add them directly in Lemlist, and when I go to Lemlist, it will show up in the leads category. So now that I've imported my leads using the extension, my leads will show up directly, like I said, here in the leads tab of my campaign. For this example, I'm using a campaign that I already created because it can take up to several days to add your verified leads or to complete verifying them just because you can only do a certain number of scans a day. You have a limit on the number of scans by LinkedIn. So it might take a few days uh, just to be able to import them depending on the number of people that you're trying to add. So also, if you would like to check on your limits, you can do this at any time by going to your settings and you will go to limits and you can see here um, the number of LinkedIn visits, the number of messages, etc. This also includes your scans and essentially uh, with LinkedIn you want to make sure that you're staying away from the total number that you have because if not you might be banned on your account. So this will be usually around 100 actions per day including messages, invites, scans, etc. So you can adjust these limits right here. 
Now, when I go back in to my campaign, now that I'm back in my campaign, you'll be able to see if you've reached your LinkedIn limit because there will be a little pop up here. It'll be a little orange LinkedIn icon that has told you that you've reached your LinkedIn scan limit. So this will just pause your scans for the day and it will restart them tomorrow. So now we can go ahead and see what the Chrome extension brought us, what all the info was. So here we have my leads. And if we click on the information for each lead, you'll be able to see all the info that I was able to collect. You can also see we have the company name here and you can see these little icons which are enriched, enriched by LinkedIn and drop contacts. So these are two scanners in action. Now also it's important to note, like we said before with drop contact, it won't always be used depending on each of your sequences. So it really needs to depend on if you have, first of all, the domain of the company. Second of all, if your sequence has more steps than LinkedIn. And third of all, if you have your drop contact connected to Lemlist. So for example, what I talked about with the sequences, when I go in here, you can see that I have some LinkedIn steps, but I also do have some emails and a call. So drop contact essentially will see that I have these additional steps and that's when it activates to get this information. But if I'm just using LinkedIn, there's no need to use the drop contact because I'll have all the info I need just from LinkedIn. The good thing about this is that your extension will have all of this information and does all of this automatically for you and collects it so you are ready to send your multi-channel campaigns. So that was it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions, go up here to the question mark and you can check out our help and support guide or you can always chat with us. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Lemlist channel so you can see more videos about what is new with Lemlist. That's it guys, have a great day.